This scar occurred when I was working down the tenderloin with a friend of mine the day after Thanksgiving. I got hit upside the head by a, a drunken wino with a cane. The police were called and the manager of the hotel did yell at me for bleeding on the brand new carpet. Well, I had this car since I was like try young, like three or four years old. Well, I actually don't know what it is, but I, I think it's probably a dog bite or something. And it's never went away. I tried, the doctors took a test at it, but nothing came out. So, it's just like that. Um, I don't really remember, but I fell asleep with a cigarette. It didn't wake me up or anything. I just woke up with a blister and, uh, but I don't even really remember going to sleep with a cigarette, so, but that's what happened. All right, I was really drunk one time and, uh, I got in a scuffle with a friend and Another guy came up behind me and hit me over the head with the beer bottle and it broke and I put my hands up and it cut my wrist and I put my hands up. Guy walks up to me and taps me. I turn around and he says, uh, give me your wallet. And I said, uh, I said, excuse me. And uh, I said, I'm not giving you my wallet. And the guy just uh, shot me in the chest and uh, I could feel the bullet go through my chest and all the way out my back of my coat. And I just stood there and looked at him for a second. I said, uh, What's up with you, man? And the guy was so shocked that I wasn't like falling down dead that uh, he, he basically ran away. So I'm standing there with a gunshot wound and I had to walk to the hospital. And uh, they took care of it and everything. It had gone through my lung and that's so why I was pretty well kind of drowning on the way to the hospital. And by the time I got to the hospital, I was like in much worse shape because my right lung was so filled with blood that, uh, that I was drowning, yeah. And uh, they pretty much drained my lung in that and uh, I survived that incident, so. That's about it. Okay, it's a scar from a chainsaw accident because I'm a tree climber. And it was just a kickback and it spun around and it hit me in the hand, the very tip of the chainsaw. So I almost lost my hand, but I had the best reconstructive surgeon in um, Washington. So he put it back together as best he could and he said I was going to have a scar and he was right. So.